Hi Year 3, I hope you are all okay. It is the 1st of December today and I'm so sad I'm not there with you because I love wearing Christmas jumpers every day of December. So get ready for that once I'm back on Friday. <laughs> um, but I thought that every day um, of December that we're at school we could read a Christmas book as one of our books that we're going to be reading. So the first one I've chosen today to read to you is called Pick a Pine Tree. Some of you might have been doing that recently, picking trees, Christmas trees to have in your house. Okay, let's see what it's about. Pick a pine tree. Pick a pine tree from the lot. Slim and tall or short and squat. One with spiky needle clumps, scaly bark or sappy bumps. Long, straight limbs or branches bent. Mmm, just smell that piney scent. I do love the smell of pine trees, do you? Lift the tree above your head, bundle it upon your sled. Or if you live very far, bring it home atop your car. Oh, they've had to strap it to the top of their car there. <laughs> Move aside a lamp or chair, clear away a section where your tree will sit tall and grand, snug and sturdy in its stand. Trim the trunk a little bit, just enough so it will fit. Slip it in and then and turn screws tight. They will hold your tree upright. Fill with water to the brink. Give your thirsty tree a drink. Then look at the cat in the tree. <laughs> oh, cute little cat. Find the trimmings stored within bulging boxes, rust, rusty tins, paper bags, or wooden case. Bring them to that special place there beside your tree. But wait. Oh, oh look, the dog's got hold of the tinsel <laughs> coming out of the box. Don't decorate alone. Call some people on the phone. Ask your friends to come and stay. Host a decorating day. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stretch along some fairy lights, a coloured mix or simply white. Fat round bulbs or pointy tips, bubble lights or candle clips. Start up top or near the base, wrap around and tuck in place. Next. <laughs> they look like they're up to mischief there again, the, the cat and the dog. <laughs> Hang ornaments upon your tree. What kind of trinkets will they be? Jolly Santas, dancing elves, wooden reindeer, jingle bells, lacy snowflakes, paper dolls, candy canes and bright glass balls with loops of thread or wire hooks. Hang them all in little nooks. Oh, I do love all these decorations. They're so pretty. Add the final touches now, garlands strung from bow to bow, strands of tinsel on the tips, falling down in silver drips. Then, ooh, what goes last, do you think? <gasps> yes, grab a footstool, climb right up, set something wonderful on top, a golden star, a velvet bow, an angel dressed in flowing robes. Do you put a star at the top of your tree or do you put an angel? Maybe you could pause the video and discuss which you put at the top of your tree. Lay a tree skirt down below. Add some houses flecked with snow. A train that chugs around a track. Secret presence in a sack. Ooh, that looks fun. At last it's time to make it shine. Plug in lights along the floor. Look, it's not a pine tree anymore. It's a... Oh, oh. 
Christmas tree. Oh, wow, that Christmas tree is amazing. Gather round the tree to sing. Let your joyful voices ring. Celebrate as nighttime falls. Oops. Merry Christmas, one and all. Oh, it looks so nice and Christmassy. I think that's the end. Yeah, just got some snowflakes there. Oh, what a lovely story about choosing your Christmas tree and putting your Christmas tree up. Um, I wonder if any of you have done that yet. Have you? Maybe share with the rest of the class. Um, I miss you still lots and lots. I hope you enjoyed the story. So have a vote and decide how many stars you'd like to give it out of five stars and let Julie know when you see her so, so that she can tell me to get something ready for our display. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.